What's going down, y'all? It's the Wake Up Crew here to talk some NBA prop bets over on Prize Picks for this Wednesday, May the 18th, 2022, NBA Western Conference Finals matchup. The Dallas Mavericks versus the Golden State Warriors. I am, you see, I got the Dallas hat on. Go Mavs. I should go put a Mavs hat on. Go Mavs, go. Go Mavs, go. I'm excited tonight. Luca, Steph, Clay, Jordan Poole, Dorian Finney-Smith, the Mavericks. This is going to be a fun one, man. Um, Quick review of the props that we talked about yesterday. We had a good day. We had a good day, yeah, Jay Rich. Yeah. We had a good day. Uh, Jimmy Butler, uh, Prize Six ended up. We keep forgetting about the damn taco every Tuesday. But we told you to take his over 36.5 par. They dropped that down to 30.5. He destroyed both numbers. So if you had it at 36, you were good. If you got it at 30.5, boom, smash the over. Absolute beast scoring the ball. Max Struess, we talked about Max Struess's rebound props. It pushed, which it, with prize picks, it doesn't cause you to lose the bet. It just tears you down. So Max Struess hit that number. Jay, Jalen Brown smashed the yep. over three-point attempts. Jason Tatum did go over his par, but what we were not privy to at the time we did the show was Al Horford and Marcus Smart were declared out of that game. So yeah. had we known that, then, of course, I, I hope. And that's, I mean, real quick, that's sort of the risk with putting in your bets early on prize picks. It's just having players absent from the game or in that you didn't think would be in. Sometimes you can take advantage of a softer line, but, you know, Jason Tatum didn't hit that. And then Max Strews, over 17 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. He had 17 on the dot. So Crazy. bad beat there. Apparently, P.J. Tucker rip, ripped away a rebound from him, like, at the very end which causes him not to go over. But overall, solid day. We came back and talked about Jason Tatum's over rebounds. It was six and a half. He had eight, so that was a hit right there. So overall, good day, but we dove into the data and we've got some picks that we like for tonight. So let's dive into it right now. For all the high-flying action, take a step back and relax. It's time to count that money, the NBA props, no look any further. You know what time it is, presented by Prize Picks, NBA props, let's count that money, man. All right, Jay, so I'm going to start with uh, the Dallas Mavericks, and I want to talk about Luka Doncic, but not his points at 32 and a half, which, I mean, you keep at, you've keep you asked me before we started the show, is, is Luka going to get 32? I said I would not bet against him. I would not take yeah. the under on that number. But the over that I like are his rebounds, man. Luca's rebounds at nine and a half. You look at what he's been doing uh, the entire playoffs, right? Over his last five, he's averaging 10.4. The juice on the books is minus 130 to the over. What a lot of people have him projected at 10.6 rebounds. We have him right at 10.8 projected rebounds in this matchup. 10, 11, 11, 7, 13 is how he finished out the Phoenix Suns. At nine and a half, again, this is a number I wouldn't be shocked closer to tip-off time if Prize Picks bumps this up to 10. So I'm taking the over. Luca boards at nine and a half. Who the hell is going to – I mean, from Golden State, they want to run that death lineup <laughs> out there. I mean, this is something – we saw Luca have eight boards. I believe he had eight rebounds in the first damn quarter versus Phoenix yep. last game. Uh, nine and a half is just too light for Luca. Give me the over. Yeah, no, I like it a lot. I'm with you on this number. I think, like you said, it's going to be easy for him. We'll just see what happens with Kevon Looney, right? Kevon Looney obviously showed out with what? I believe he had 17 rebounds in the closeout game against Memphis. He's not in yet, but a guy that I do like to rebound for Golden State is Andrew Wiggins. Andrew Wiggins, I told you guys last time, five and a half, easy number for him. With this role switch, I really like the way he's playing right now. I like the way he's being utilized in this offense. And I think there's another good shot he goes over. He's had double-digit rebounds in the past two games outside of that blowout game. So I like Andrew Wiggins to do it again. Again, to preface these comments by saying, Otto Porter is the primary rebounder in these kind of weird sets that they do run. And he's dealing with a foot injury. If he is out again, then this number is definitely a great number. If he is in, I still like it. But the probability goes down a little bit of him going over. So just keep that in mind. Look for the reports about Otto Porter. And then consider that going forward. All right, I want to roll to an assist prop. Talk about Draymond Green, Money Green, over six and a half assists. He's averaging right at 6.6 .6 over his last five games. And let's not forget that right around in this spot right here, uh, those second to last, third to last games versus Memphis, Steven Adams was back. Uh, the, 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 the Mavericks don't have anybody that's going to bang down low that's as, as physical as, as Draymond, even though he's a smaller player. So at this uh, assist number right here at six and a half, Draymond dishing the ball out, 
them not having a lot of bodies down low. You could probably get some extra rebound attempts for Golden State in this matchup. Kick out to Draymond. Draymond distribute it to your to your shooters, to Steph, to Clay, to Jordan, to Jordan Poole. I think he's going to have tons of of opportunities to dime out, get some assists, and I think Draymond is going to have a very impactful series uh, being the distributor in this one. You know, playing some defense on Luca. What's going to be interesting is I think they're going to have Wiggins on Luca. What are your thoughts, Jay? Wiggins on Luca. I think it's just going to give Draymond Green some opportunities to dish the ball. So six and a half assists, I like it for Draymond Green. Well, I think we see a bit of both. So I do like this prop a lot. But to your point about Wiggins, um, we may actually see Draymond on Wiggins, or sorry, Draymond on Luka. And that was actually talked about by Reggie Miller in this final game. He's talking about how we probably will see some Draymond on Luka because the reason why is Draymond's that big enough body that can really play with Luka's physicality. Well, he's not going to stick with them with the footwork necessarily. He's still pretty good, and more importantly, he can handle the body of Luka overall. But the guy I want to talk about last is Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson, right now, his point total is 21.5 on prize picks. It's actually 20.5 on the books with a little bit of juice to the over. But if you look at this prop, Clay Thompson only hit it in the final game. And while, you know, game six, Clay, I get it, all the narratives. The issue for this game is that when Dallas plays any opponent, they always slow them down, and they slow them down a lot. Dallas is dead last in pace, 30th in the NBA. They're second in points allowed. They're 12th in field goal percentage allowed. They're first in threes allowed, which we know that's where Clay likes to get his points. They're fourth in three point percentage allowed. They're ninth in free throws allowed, and they're ninth in de- shooting guard defense. So for a number that Clay has struggled to hit in the playoffs so far, in a slower based environment where we know it's going to be predominantly a lot of these scores playing, there's going to be a lot of rebounds, which is why we like a lot of the rebound props. And it's going to be very difficult to score for Golden State. While they could have a couple of games where they blow up, I do think this is an opportunity to take an under on Clay. I think he's probably the best value of all the players. Steph at 27 and a half, it's a lot of points, but I think that there's a world where Steph could overcome it. But if Clay can't get his three going, I don't think there's a world where he just goes over shooting twos and driving to the cup. So for me, I think he's going to have a lot of trouble with Reggie Bullock, who is probably going to be his primary defender. Maybe they decide to put DFS on him if they want that height advantage. But overall, the lateral quickness, and you see the way Bullock played Booker. He's playing, you know, a similar style player in Clay. So you put the same player on him, and look at the clamps they strapped on him. So for me, we'll see how they ultimately play it. But it's probably DFS or Bullock on Clay. One of those two guys will play him, play him well, because there is a chance we see Bullock on Steph to again combat that supreme sharpshooter. But overall, I think Clay's the guy who's probably going to go under in this series and be under this number overall in the game. Yeah, do you know what the book line is on on Clay's points and where the juice is on that? With Draymond's assist, I know the books have it minus 140 to the over on those six and a half assists. Yeah, so it's 20 and a half right now on the books. It, it is minus 118 to the over, but Price Picks is giving you at a higher number, so you do get yeah. a little bit of juice that way as well. Yeah. All right, so there we go. The core four plays that we like, Luka over nine and a half boards, Wiggins over five and a half boards, Draymond over six and a half dimes, and Clay Thompson under 21 and a half points. You know, I say tread lightly in game one. Let's see how it plays out. We have a good idea of how these teams have been playing, what we think may happen. But just like last night, you know, we saw with uh, with uh, Boston and Miami, like it's good to see the roles that these players are going to have. Um, you know, mix and match, unit and risk allocation, managing your budget, budget is always so important. Um, and as always, Every pick that we make, data-driven, through our model. So if you tail, give them hell. And if we fail, don't bail. We've got some WNBA picks we're going to talk about. Jay, you going to drop any MLB picks today? Uh, yes, had sir. Had a decent night on that last night. Uh, WNBA was solid, 50% hit on that. So we'll get into that a little bit later on the channel. In the comments, let us know what you're playing. And if we find any other plays that have some additional edge, we'll drop them in the comments closer to tip-off. Good luck. We'll see you all later. We out. Peace.